Today I will show you how you can add your own character to the third person blueprint template. So first of all create your character in any 3D program you like, for example Blender, 3ds Max or Maya. Then of course you also have to add a rig and some animations. In our case we need a jumping animation, a jump land animation, a jump, um, a jump in air animation, a idle animation, a walk animation and of course a running animation. After you have did that, just import it into the counter browser. Now we have to create a blend space 1D. So do a right click, go to animation and choose blend space 1D. Now choose a skeleton, in my case this one here, and type in a name, for example test underscore English. Now do a double click onto it. And up here the parameter name, you have to type in speed. Because after that in the any blueprint we will create a variable that is called speed. So we need that name now. And then at x axis you have to type in 375 and click on to apply parameter change. Now in the right corner down here you can see all animations that are available for your character. And now if you just drag and drop some of them into this line here. So first of all we will click onto the idle animation and then we will drag and drop it to the first position here. Then we will add our walk animation and we will drag and drop it to the second position. Now we will come to the running animation and we will add it to, this, to the last position down here. And now we can already see when we are at speed when we are at speed zero, it uses the idle animation. When we increase the speed, it turns into the walking animation, and when we go to the max, it is our jogging animation, as you can see here. Okay, now that's it. So close this and create the animation blueprint. So do a right click, go to animation, and choose animation blueprint. Now choose the skeleton in my case Charlotte Armor and click onto OK. Now type a name, for example, test a blueprint underscore English and open it. Now in here go to the event graph then go to the variable tab click onto it choose the float variable up here and type in speed and press enter. Now click another time on it onto the variable tab now choose bool and type in is in air question mark and enter. Now we've created two variables that we will need later. Now open up the existing and in blueprint from the character. So this one here from the hero TT, TPP. Double click onto it and then just copy all the stuff that is in the event graph into our and in blueprint. So select this, Control C, go to our event graph and paste it. Now go back to the hero TPP animation blueprint, go to the anim graph, select the state machine copy it, go to our to our anim blueprint, go to go to the anim graph, paste it and select the default state uh, and connect the default state machine with the result from the final animation pose. Okay now compile everything. And now in the event graph we shouldn't get any errors as you can see here. No warnings, no errors and nothing. Okay now now we have to add some stuff to the anim graph. So go to the anim graph tab, do a double click onto the state machine and in here we can add our animations. So first of all click onto the idle run animation and in here we have to add our blend space. So go to the asset browser up down here, click onto blend click onto your blend space, in my case test English, and drag and drop it into the into the window here. Now select the exit now delete the existing one, connect the speed with the speed from the from the blend space, and then the animation pose with the final animation pose. Now close this, double click onto this link here. There we leave it like that. Then double click onto jump start. And here you have to add your jump start animation. In my case I will just add the jump animation now. So we'll take where is it? This one here. So we'll just add it and then I will connect it with the final animation pose. And this one here we will delete out. Now close this, go to this tab here. Then you can see it is a time remaining ratio. So delete this one here. Do a right click, tap in asset, and add a time rem a time remaining ratio. Now connect this one here with the first link here, and close it. Now click onto jump loop. Here you have to add your jump loop animation. So I will take this one here. Then I will add, then I will add it here, and then I will close it. Now double click onto this one here. That's okay. So close it. Double click onto jump end. Here you have to add your jump end animation. In my case, I will just take take this one here and set and copy and delete the existing one. Now going to this link here, 
delete the jump and asset, do a right click, also type in asset and add a time remaining ratio. And connect this one with the first value here. And that's it, now it should work. So go to compile. And as you can see down here, we don't get any arrows or warnings. So close this and go to the character blueprint. So go to blueprints and down here you can see my character. Double click onto it. In here go to the default tab. And here you have to add your character. So go back to your character, select your skeletal mesh and add it to the skeletal mesh tab. Now up here at anim blueprint generated class, you have to click onto none. And here you have to choose your anim blueprint. In my case it is the, how is it called? It is the test BP English, okay. Here we have to choose the test BP English. Now we have to scroll down a little bit. And down here under the character movement, you can change the some movement values of the character. So how fast he is moving, where he is moving, how far from the ground he is moving, and so on. So you can just change some settings. Now we go to the component tab. In here you can already see your character. And behind the character is the camera. So here we can change the camera position of our third person view. So I could drag and drop this around now, but I won't do it now. So this will change the camera position in here. And now just click on to compile. Okay, now let's start out. So do a right click. And it has an answer of compiled error. And you can already see, it works. We can move around, we can also jump, as you can see here. And we can move around a little bit. So yeah, that's how you add your own character to the third person blueprint template. Thank you for watching and until next time.